Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hank here. So, I was super excited to do this look. I've been wanting to do a really glam New Year's Eve look, so this is so exciting. I'm a really big fan of glitter. If you don't like glitter, this look may not be for you. But it is New Year's Eve tomorrow, so I wanted to give you something to get your, get your asses ready for today. To prepare for tomorrow. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this look. Let's get ready. Okay, so for this New Year's Eve look, we are gonna use glitter. So whenever I use glitter, I wanna do my eyes first. So I'm gonna be using NW20 in MAC Studio, uh, no, concealer, um, Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm gonna put that all over my lids as an eyeshadow base. And I like putting it on with a 224 brush from MAC. And I like putting it all over and you can be a little messy. You don't have to be super, super, super pretty with it. And I like putting it under as well. And the reason why we do this is if we have any fallout with the glitter, we can go in and clean up before we do our foundation. Um, I'm a little bit more of a sloppy makeup artist and like super clean and precise. I like doing my eyes first whenever I'm doing super dramatic looks that might contain a lot of fallout. So one palette I am really, really obsessing over right now is this um, cover shot, um, a blaze eye palette from Smashbox. It's super cool, love that. But the colors in here are colors I love, which I love warm tones. So I'm going to be using Nirvana, a little bit of throwback, which are these two right there. And I'm gonna be using them on my, for my transition colors. And I'm gonna be using this is my transition color, and this one I'm gonna be using them heavy on the inside and outside. So I'm gonna be using a tapered brush. I think this is MAC 286. Uh, yeah, 286, I love it because it's so tapered and there's not a lot of hairs at the end. And so this look, I think people call it is a halo look because I'm doing darker colors on the inside and outside. So I'm gonna take that, take that same color and I'm gonna apply it to the bottom. And since this is a New Year's Eve look, apply shadow to the bottom. I like it actually being a little bit heavier on the bottom. It brings the drama. I really like this eyeshadow because it blends really, really nice and it's easy to build up the coverage on it. Okay, so now for the glitter. So there's a lot of glitter glues and it adhesives. So what do I use? Bam. Duo. The reason why I like using Duo is because now if you have latex allergies, I would get the one that's latex free. Um, I like using Duo because I get it and I put it and get it a little tacky and then pop that glitter on and it comes right off at the end of the night. You can almost peel it. It's amazing. And for the glitter, we're going to be using the first glitter that really kind of made me become a like a like a glitter holic and that is the shop violet boss in copperella that color is mine i rock that color just kidding but not for else i love this color now i do have to let you guys know um if you do use copperella be careful if you read the back it says that this color is not recommended for the eye and lip area it's because of the size of the glitter chunkier glitter should not be worn too close to the actual um, eyeball because if the glitter gets in there it can cut you so always just be careful about that the um, eye and lip safe glitters are cut really smaller so your eye can actually ingest it easier so you don't have to worry about it so all I'm doing is I'm I'm getting it I'm getting the glue and I'm just dabbing it on my lid and then with that same finger Apply the glitter. Boom! Popping. So this little brush from I think it's called Cosette. Cosetta. Cosette. C O Z Z E T T T E. I'm gonna use this brush for two different reasons. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the duo glue, and I'm gonna put it down here, right on the bottom lash in the middle. I'm telling you, when I go glitter, I go hard. And then I clean the brush off throw some glitter on the bottom of the brush so the reason why I said this brush is really important is because of the hairs at the top after we apply the glitter I get the flat brush that we were just using and now I'm gonna take that more red color 
and I reapply it to the inside and outside because when you're applying the glitter sometimes your finger will start to wipe away some of the color and I really want the, the color to pop. So the reason why this brush is so important is so that you can blend because if you use a, a bigger blending brush and you try to blend this out, it's going to start moving the glitter around. So because it's really small, you can still blend and you don't have to worry about knocking that glitter around everywhere. Mm -hmm. it's banging and we haven't even thrown on the lashes. So I am going to be using the same lashes and you guys know I love white on my waterline so I'm going to be using the full spectrum nude on my waterline and then I'm going to be using um, smash boxes and decent exposure mascara because it's super super black and I'm going to be using my favorite little lashes that I made so these lashes are Ardell Demi Wispies and then I got Bella from Nubunsum and I cut them up and then uh, layered them on the ends so after we're done, I'm going to use the Girl Lactic Precise Eyeliner Marker. And I like using this on the inner ducts because at the, the lashes end right here. We want it to not be able to tell where the liner begins and the lashes begin. So I just use them on the inside. So the next thing I'm using is the Brow Gals Convertible Brow Pomade. I like using it wet, so I like it wet. <laughs> And I always start from the bottom and this brush I'm using it is a Smith brush uh, 203 really awesome it's super super tiny so you can really just get in there <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> and so now that the eyes and the and the brows are done the next thing we're gonna be doing is the face la fosse mm-hmm and we're gonna tear it up I'm gonna be doing a little bit different um, you've seen me use this before. It's a Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Uh, it's SXO2. I really want to do a, a review of all, all the different colors because this is super tricky. So I like using it before. So I'm going to clean my face up and get rid of any excess glitter with just a regular makeup wipe. And then I'm going to add this on uh, after I use my, my primer, which is going to be the Gleam Melanie Mills Sandra Deluxe collaboration, which is called Peach Deluxe. Um, I really like this. There's a lot of orange undertones in it, so it cancels out a lot of my darkness and my sallowness. So, these are bomb. And the reason why I like using such a light color is be and, and I use it always before I put foundation on is because when I put foundation on it's totally going to mix in and it blends so well so for foundation I'm gonna be using one of my favorite foundation lines it's a brand called LC cosmetics this is their micro sick silk foundation this foundation is amazing it has vitamin E in it it dries down to a matte finish and it's water resistant. So if you're doing makeup for the runway or you just a sweaty hoe, get this. It's so good. I literally, the color, um, I'm going to be using Warm Ivory, which is one of my favorite colors. And this Kat Von D brush is amazing. I, I love how it applies foundation. It literally just strokes it on. It's like a paintbrush. So the next thing I'm going to do is my contour and I'm going to be using Beautiful Bronze from LA Girl and this time I'm actually going to be using the actual brush that's on it because I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. Why? Because it's New Year's Eve, duh. And uh, uh, one of the really cool things I like using when I do this is uh, from Luxie, their nose contour brush it's a collaboration with the uh, jd weighty 180 so after i blend this out with the beauty blender i'm going to use that to contour my nose and the excess i'm going to put down here to take care of this double chin because she ain't gone yet she gonna be 
Best believe, not today, Satan. So the reason why I love this brush from Luxie, so this is the Luxie and JD Weighty collaboration. It's the nose contour brush. This is brush 182. So I like getting the thinner side, getting some product. And this is for when you want that snatched nose. Like snatched. That Michael Jackson nose. You don't even know. Don't even know. And so right now you can see all the different colors. So now how we even it all out so it's not so dark, light, dark. That's what we're going to use the Alley Girls Pro, their Pro Face uh, powder in the color Buff. This is one of my favorite colors. It's really good for a lot of light to medium skin tones. So the next thing I'm going to be using is Hot Makeup Professionals Blush in Wanderlust just to give me some pop. So pop a color on them cheeks before I throw on some highlight. It's a really beautiful peach color. Snap, crackle, and pop on that. So for the highlight, I'm going to be using one of my favorite highlighters, which is uh, Soft and Gentle from MAC. That's literally the first highlight I've ever used. It is OG. They did change up the packaging a little bit, so it's a little bit classier. It looks like a little space alien ship now, but... This is OG, still love it. So fine, it's the Soft and Gentle Skin Finish, but it's their highlighter and it's it's still banging, just like it was 80 million years ago when it came out. Another reason why I really like it is because you can use it on the tip, on the uh, bridge of your nose. Some highlighters, once you put them on your nose, it doesn't look good, it almost gets a little gray sometimes, especially for, uh, Lighter colors. Oh, shit, New Year's Eve. We popping bottles, popping bottles and blinding. Okay, so now for the lips. So Pure Cosmetics just came out with like another collaboration with my boo, JD Weighty 180. Shout out. It's a new lip gloss. She came out with four glosses. No, two liquid to mattes and then two glosses. So this is one of the liquid to mattes in the color cake. I really, really like this not only does it go on smoothly when it dries it's obviously it's non-transferable but it it doesn't dry out my lips there's some out there that dry out my lips i don't want to say no names but some of them be drying out my lips and they be sticking to each other the applicate applicator to it is also bent so it's actually really easy to apply it almost feels like a mousse not like the mousse in animal like a souffle mousse like obviously not an animal. So now to finish off the lips, these lips are going to be on somebody at midnight, but I'm just saying. Makeup Geek just came out with these new lipsticks. They're so awesome. And I really like this color. I was I, Actually, I wasn't going to use it. I was just going to leave this, but I saw this color and I really wanted to throw into the look. I think it was this one. Yeah, Naive. So really really cool it's a super matte lips almost more like a satin so i'm actually going to use this just in the center because i like always wearing one more than more than one lipstick i know one lipstick how i am so this is the completed look i hope you guys liked it i think it was really quick too a lot of people think doing glitter looks are hard they're not hard at all all you gotta do is dab it on go like that and then wipe that shit off <laughs> So I hope you guys use this look. If you do, hashtag Hank and Henry so I can see it on your social media platforms. And have fun. New Year's Eve 2016 has been crazy. Donald Trump is the president of the United States. For then shit. For reals. Like really, really slash for reals. So have a safe night. Don't sip, don't, don't drink and drive. Don't sip and swerve. Take an Uber. Take a lift whatever but have a safe night have fun let's leave 2016 behind us and let's get ready to have a positive amazing motivational inspired 2017 i hope you guys leave comments let me know what you think press that like button you better be subscribed <laughs> and until next time bye